What's up guys? It is Derek from DaysDesigns.com and I'm bringing you guys a brand new YouTube tutorial. In this one, I'll be going over gridding and how you can implement it in your logo design process and why I use it and what it is. So what is gridding? Gridding um, is you know using grid lines, circles, and really just any shapes to further perfect your logo designs and take them to the next level and stop them from looking really, um, really amateurish and, you know, just really making them look perfect and aesthetically pleasing. So um, why do I use it? I use it to make sure that all my lines are perfect, especially on circles. That's the uh, one of the main times I use gridding is for circle shape um, logos like this letter V is, you know, very curved, as you can see right here, here, here here as well even the overall shape of the full logo will be a curved circle as well and I'll be heavily using it in this one and I do uh, use it a lot in a lot of my letter based symbol based logo designs and um, you know just a little bit of background I learned this in a online logo design course and um, yeah now I'm gonna teach you guys how to use it so I usually start off with uh, turning my rulers on that is control or command R that's how you turn them on I start off with putting a ruler in the middle that is so I can reflect things uh, from left to right and so on and so forth. So I'll start off with putting another ruler right here. Um, and to make sure your rulers are unlocked, it's command or control and hold alt as well. And then click the semicolon key. So that just lock them. So do that again to unlock them as if they're locked. Now to rotate your grids, push R on your keyboard. Click the axis you want to rotate it on messed up okay so again R on your keyboard click where you want to drag or rotate it on and then click and drag and I'll put it there okay bam perfect all right so I'm gonna hold alt click and drag hold shift as well and then I'm gonna put this one there boom all right so now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side I'm gonna click and drag or sorry to get the same thing on the other side I'm gonna highlight both of these push O on my keyboard and that is to that is the reflect tool and then I want to reflect on this line uh, perfectly down the middle hold the alt key click and then this will come up and I want to reflect it on a vertical axis from left to right click copy BAM there they are so now we have all of our grids for this logo design now I need to um, our grid lines now I need to add my circles so I'm gonna put one right here and to get your circle um, your ellipse tool sorry uh, push L on your keyboard and then click and hold or sorry hold shift and alt and then click and drag and that'll give you a perfect circle and then I want these to line up perfectly and it's almost perfect so that seems to fit good enough I'm gonna hold shift and alt click and drag just to get these lined up as perfect as possible so I'm gonna give this one a stroke and make it pink Bam. All right. Oh, whoops. Okay, so get rid of the fill. Sorry, Phil. You gotta go. And we got the stroke. Okay, so, and to lock your grid or to lock your rulers or grid lines, you can just push control or command, hold that, and then push the semicolon key that, um, that hides them, and then do the same thing again to make them visible, and now they are locked. Um, so yeah, usually just do it really quick like that. So now I'm going to click and drag this one as well. And put this one here. Bam. I'm going to make this one fit our sketch. This is for a logo design that got turned down from a client. Was not feeling it all good. Still sealed the deal. Come up with a great design. Both happy with at the end. So got that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, we're going to put this one on the top. Um, thinking if I should make it a wider one, I should make it bigger. It should probably be bigger in comparison to smaller. And it won't look right on the top. So, yeah, if you ever want to look at the exact lines, you can push Control or Command Y, and that will give you your lines to get out of this view. It's the same thing. As you can see, it's almost perfect, but I can do. Bam. All right. Good enough. So I'm pretty sure that'll work. So yeah, awesome. So now we have these set up for now. I could add one here, but I'll do that later. Probably one here as well. So 
this is the main portion of gridding. Um, you know, they can get extremely complicated depending on your logo design. Like I could add, like I said, I could add another one here to connect. I'll probably make it bigger. And uh, yeah, I haven't done it because I'll probably be putting anchor point, putting an anchor point here to connect there. So yeah, oh yeah, sorry, it's not over yet. So now I need to show you guys them in action. So for the circles, main reason I like using them is to find the anchor points for a perfect circle. So I'm gonna lock that. By the way, I put my grids on the top layer, and do all my work on the bottom or the layer below it. So I'm gonna click here, see where it says anchor. Hopefully you guys can see that. Click, Alt, Shift, and drag. And do one here, two, and drag that one. Bam, see that was perfectly lined up. I'm gonna put one at anchor point here. And I notice that it is not filled as a stroke. So I'm gonna push this right here and then change the fill and then change the transparency to, we'll say about 50. Boom, that's good. All right, so hold Alt, click and drag our handle out to here. And then I'm looking for the anchor point at the 12 o'clock position. Bam, there it is. Follow your circles and you will get a perfect circle. Trust me, I do it all the time and I always get perfect shapes for that reason. So yeah, we got that one. I could probably make that one bigger. Make that circle bigger. But anyways, looking for this anchor point. 12 o'clock, where you at? There you are. Okay. Click and drag that way. Now we're going I'm gonna hold Alt, click and drag. Make this hand a little bit shorter. I can tell it's a little bit too long. Gotta redo that. Click where they connect here. And bam, perfect again. So as you can see, gridding makes things so much easier. It can also make things so, so much faster. And now to rotate this to the other side, or reflect, sorry, push L on the keyboard as long as it's highlighted. Click here, hold alt, or sorry, hold alt, click there, and then copy it. Boom. Awesome. Now we're going to make our sketch go away and it looks pretty good. I'll probably further adjust this circle, the circle that was on the top, that grid, and continue to refine this thing. And I'll probably make this one smaller or not, probably just bump it up to the left. So yeah, looks kind of like a bird right now. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to continue with this, uh, with this logo design, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the gridding tutorial. I really hope it helped you guys out. When I first figured it out, it helped me out so much because it you know, especially when you further refine it, as you'll see me doing in the speed art for the rest of this video, it really helps you perfect your logo designs. So yeah, I hope you guys could learn a few things. To all you guys who've been following along on my Snapchat, the behind the scenes videos of the making of this video leading up and so on and so forth, I already know what I'm about to say. I'm going to be doing a logo design giveaway. So one of you guys is going to be able to win this logo design. That includes the Adobe Illustrator file that I'm editing now transparent PNG file to use in Photoshop like I'll be doing in a few minutes as well as rights to the design. All you have to do is like this video, leave a comment below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll be pinning, picking one of you guys by the end of this week. So that means Friday I'll be choosing a winner guys. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I really hope it helped you guys out. It really helped me out when I first started doing this, uh, the gridding process. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys did enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.